for the six furlong contest. We're getting there steadily, aren't we? Mazzini will be one of the last four to go in, heading into storm one under George Wood. Donald Trump would say they're doing very, very well. Very, very well. Very, very well. Yeah, we're on the case. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So you're going to see things. Things are going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. like the way that he uh, shoved the, um, which Prime Minister was it, out of the way yesterday to get yeah. him the photo shoot? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. It's quite right. If you're, you know, if you're in charge of the world's most powerful nation, you don't want to be in the back row in the photos. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> They're off, and as they broke away, a pretty level break, with possibly the exception of Moonraker, is going to be held up. Showing speed against the near side rail is Queen in waiting down the centre of the course. Go Far is also right up there with Clear Spring giving chase to him. Casbar is prominent against the rail, and at the moment isolated, the Queen in waiting and Casbar towards the rail. Go Far leads the group in the centre of the course with Clear Spring, and then Seeking Magic. Those are the first five. A break of length and a half to Boy in the Bar, who is racing in six. The green colours by the green colours. Vibrant Quartz is in seventh. Working wider, Cat Rizzi alongside Stellata at the moment held up. It's upstaging towards the rear of the field. So too is Toothy, so too Moonraking as they race down now towards the final two furlongs. Go far, now being tackled by Clear Spring. Stellata has travelled well into the race. Cat Rizzi right over on the far side and that one's been followed through by Mazzini towards the near side. Queen in waiting is still there indeed. Queen in waiting right in the firing line as they race down towards the final furlong now. Queen in waiting the near side. Go far, Vibrant Quartz. Boy at the by it's laying on. Over on the far side is Stellata. A hundred yards to go. Four still in line. Go far and Boy at the bar. Vibrant Courts is back in third. Boy at the bar. Boy at the bar to win. Vibrant Courts got it for second. And back in third. Go far and then in fourth. Queen in waiting. Oh, the drinks are on Josie Gordon. Boy in the bar at six to one. Gets up to win this sprint handicap for Ian Williams on the back of a decent third in soft ground at Newbury last Friday. Boy in the bar emerges on top to record the success. Confirmation that Vibrant Courts was second. Go far, who got the race 12 months ago. Third at this time around. And for the record, fourth was Queen in waiting who made a bold bit down the near side row, but was just hanging a little in the closing stages. Let's take it from the start. Despite one or two getting fractious in the stalls, they seem to get away to a pretty good line in the end. Yeah, and Queen Waiting soon did what I thought you might do, is mm. get out and go over to the rail track by Caspar, go far, set the pace at the, at the centre, and they're both involved in uh, the first four, so it's not like they've got a breakneck pack. I think on this, more than just this evidence, but on this evidence, it might just be as far as Queen in Waiting wants, might it? I mean, she's almost like a five and a half furlong uh, filly. And in terms of the trip, you can't say Vibrant Court didn't get it. You know, no. He, he, no. He, he's, well, he's beaten all by one informed horse who showed last week at Newbury. It was Newbury, wasn't it? There was Newbury. He's, you know, he's come right back to form and um, he's proven here. He travelled actually well. Yeah, he got a nice toe in from Go Far and Clear Spring. He did. He, winner. he did, and he was one of the last horses, if not the last horse, off the bridle, actually. She's wasted and wasted, Josephine Gordon. Who is, she has to switch left there, but she's got, yeah, she's got a lovely run through. She basically upside vibrant calls at this stage. They both come with challenges at the same time, and she's, uh, I'm sorry, he has proved uh, just the stronger. But they run really well. Uh, vibrant calls have stayed. Sorry, the uh, Queen of Waiting has stayed there on the stand side to stay in the place, as I say, without convincing that he said he wouldn't want a yard further. Um, the head on will tell us more, but I didn't notice. Any obviously unlucky horses here? No, I noticed upstaging travelled well for a very long way. White two to the quarter cap. And yeah. the first run back, so it might be that he'll come on that. I think, again, he was one of the last horses to really be after an effort. Um, but he's trapped by the quarter, I just see him where he actually fit. I think he's run with some promise. Moonraker's sort of flattered to see again. He was on the rails going okay, but he didn't really pick up no. uh, when up. But no, there's not. By good you know, standards, I can't see too many horses snatching up and being desperately unhappy. No. no. I'll take your point about upstaging. He did have to switch closer to the near side in the end. It was a pretty straightforward success for Boy in the Bar here under Josie Gordon. Been a popular one as well. Friday afternoon at Goodwood in the sunshine, the start of a bank holiday weekend. And there'll be a few coincidence backers will have been on that, one suspects. Yeah, there's probably more of them than James Bond fans, so they're probably a bad result for the bookmakers. Surely not. I think so. Surely not.
boy in the bar then, the winner, as Stuart said. Hopefully some coincidence betting going on. Six to one, does look lovely there. Josephine Gordon uh, in the saddle for Ian Williams. Vibrant Chords was second, one of the five to one joint favourites along with Mazzini. And go far third at 20 to one. 13 round in the 4.55 at Goodwood. And the winning time over six furlongs was 109.61. Uh, 0.9 uh, seconds faster than standard. A really decent time clocked by Boy in the Bath. 